It's been a minute. April is a bit of a balls to the wall kind of month for me. Um, and I mean that literally. I have been busy every week, all week, every day, all day. But I'm more on top of things than I've ever been before, which I'm very proud of. And I think in that, I've definitely lost a little connection to my magic and my practice. I think it's really difficult to continue to be connected to spirits and magic and everything when you're expected to get a bunch of things done all the time and make a bunch of content and say a bunch of words that have meaning. In that, you know, I have a bit of a break week coming up. And by break week, I mean I'm not going to be able to work all this week. I have a friend coming from my hometown. My, one of my best friends from high school is visiting. So I'll be able to kind of disconnect a little and just kind of have fun and spend time with them which I think is going to be really important and really good for me. I've found that it's very difficult to connect with the practice that is constantly commercialized so I'm going to kind of spend some time you know this week and the week after maybe just slowing down and really just kind of doing workings and spells that feel really good to me. Not trying to make anything for my shop, not trying to perform anything, not trying to do anything crazy. I have to make like promotional posts this week. And I've been having a lot of, I think, thoughts about my place in the world. <laughs> I like to be one of many. And not that I don't enjoy, you know, answering questions about my work and my practice, but I think that it gets to a point sometimes that I get so tired of explaining the same thing over and over again, explaining my worldview over and over again, explaining everything. So I'm revisiting, you know, who is my content for and how can I reflect who it's for in what I make? I think that the Bad Ancestors video was really me kind of connecting with the content I really want to make, the topics I really want to discuss. And in that, I think I'm, you know, thinking about like, well, I've been doing educational videos for so long. I've been doing vlogs for so long. So what do I really want to make? And how can reconnecting with my practice help me with that and help me understand what I want to make. Yeah, I'm gonna start by pulling a card for the day. You know, why not get in that habit? Pipe. Pipe is a grandfather card. It's about sacred smoke, agreements and social contracts, spiritual guidance, and runes. I've never pulled this card before. Set of runes needs interpretation, feeling of secrets, intuition, sacred knowledge, the language of trees. Makes sense. I think my house needs a good smoke cleansing um, and I need to revisit my protections, which I literally got so many cards yesterday about that as I was trying to do things. So I, I have so much work to do, but I'm gonna maybe slow down and first do a little smoke cleanse, um, a little ritual smoke. Language of trees. That's just telling me to go outside, I feel like. <laughs> I've been wanting to bake bread. I also thought it keeps giving me like cards of counter magic and reversal magic. So I think I need to do some protection markings. I think that like guiding what I do with a deck like this is really beneficial for me because I feel like I've definitely, and I've been feeling like this a lot. I've, I've been in a routine for a really long time. And I love my routine. I love the people I have around me, the things that I do because I'm passionate about it. But I think I'm hitting a point where I like, I wanna be excited. I wanna find something to fall in love with again. I wanna fall back in love with something again. I'm like bored, I, you know, which is so weird. And I'm not bored of like my relationship or where I live or the things I do. I'm just, I wanna spend more time doing new things. 
that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna make a little smoke cleansing blend and we're gonna see how it goes. I'll be very intuitive with it, you know? I'm nothing if not intuitive. Nettle has been like really strong with me recently. And I'm not sure why, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use the Mountain Condor Archangel Michael Oil for this blend. A little bit of Vervain. A little bit of West Palm. Okay, I'm gonna use my herb grinder for this. <laughs> So this is just what I've like been using to make powders. Hello. I'm about to head to a coffee shop to get my. Whoa, let me set this up first. <laughs> I'm about to head to a coffee shop to get some copy edits done for my second book. <laughs> um, which you guys should know about soon, but. How much R3 perfume is too much? I'm gonna pull a card, see what's up. Yesterday was like my first day off where I didn't see anyone. Also, I'm using Kitchen Toad's Soul Custom Made, part of the Solar Ritual. Knitting needles. I don't have these cards memorized, don't mind me. Knitting needles, the grandmother's following tradition, family lineage, the red thread intricate practice on your skill which i think is a great card to receive when i'm coffee editing <laughs> we're gonna set up and show you what i'm wearing to this coffee shop and what i wear when i write which i think is good i like to put a little magnetism water in my hair help me bring in some compliments get myself a steam up a little curse breaker spasmella de zion oil and I like to put this on the back of my neck. Our Lady on Tire of Nuts. To remove any possible creative blockages that I may have. So, today is my shop's anniversary. I'm very excited. And there will be an anniversary sale coming up. On May, May 10th is the day. Um, May 10th. Also, I just feel like my ancestors told me to do my laundry and I'm like, I'm, I'm doing it. I got a clothes pin. I'm like, hey. I've been doing laundry. I haven't folded laundry in months. There's gonna be an anniversary sale on my website. It is 15% off your entire order from May, 10th when it starts to May 13th and hello that was cat Jesus and I am very very excited for it um every literally almost everything in the store is going to be a part of this sale except for our newest products which are the Stelescope deck and the zines that we just got in um and I'm hoping that this video is going to be up before then so you can know about it we also just had our small but mighty veil drop Whoop. I have been doing this for a year now, which is crazy. It's grown so much, and I think about that a lot. I'm gonna go get some coffee shop work done. Maybe go to a cemetery. Good morning. Hi, Stinky. <laughs> I'm about to wash my new tattoo. Isn't she pretty? I am flexible, so I am gonna prop my leg up in the sink. I can see you. Hi. And just gonna wash that. This was from 
a flash sheet that my artist did to support the Heber um, pal tattoos for Palestine. So all the money spent on it was going ugh, to civilians needing to evacuate, or civilians on the ground needing aid. Okay, so I'm on day four. Um, usually mine starts scabbing up on day four. It's a poppy. Oh, bitch. Yeah. Got some eucerin. I usually use Herbal Riot's tattoo set. Oh, hey, oh, pretty. I have some stuff to do today. I have some friends' birthdays tonight. Sinky, what are you doing? And I'm taking a spin pool last later today, and my restock's on Friday, so I gotta make hydrosol. I gotta do a spell. I think I did a little too much, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not usually that intense with it, but I thought it would be funny. To check the temperature today. Freeze watch? Bitch, it's May! Oh my god. Welcome to Colorado, guys. Oh. I see what they're talking about. It's not like... It, it's just telling us that it's gonna be... Hello. Just gonna be freezing. That's really bright. Okay, so I've had my biscotti. Now I'm making hydrosol. I'm trying to make hydrosol. I have my bag of orbs. Thank you to Ritual Craft for always really supplying me with herbs when packages and shipments are delayed. I also got like a cute little candle. Which, by the way, you saw me with the Mithras um, candle. I got like this little white one. So cute. And a blush that I used that was on sale. This is my rosemary. So, most of this is really an experiment, which I'm okay with. See how it goes, you know? I think it also kind of depends on what smell I want to have the most present. And for me, it's definitely a lemon balm and the rosemary, which is why I bought bundles. This is my giant seven pound thing of ice. Now I am making hydrosol. <laughs> we're gonna see, like I said, we're gonna 100% see how this goes. You know what my therapist says about me? She says I'm good under pressure. Hello friends. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna hand the camera to Emery while I drive. Uh, if you've been a fan of my channel for a really long time, you probably remember Emery. Yeah, I've, I haven't been here in a little bit, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. But they are here in Colorado, and yeah. we are headed out to my parents' house today, which means you're gonna get to see, get to see some horses. Oh yeah, which is the great time. Yeah, we're going to get specialty bevs right now. Specialty bevs. Yeah, coffee, and I'm probably gonna get matcha. <laughs> I'm gonna get matcha. Yeah. I love um, matcha. They've good matcha. Good. I get tea. Anyway, so, so we'll keep you guys updated. I'll have Emery take some nice. Role yeah, for my editor. I keep looking up at the little monitor instead I know, of that's the. What I do too. Okay. <laughs> um, I've never done this before. Yeah. Mm. Yay. Mm. And then you hit the little stop in the corner and set it down. Cut the Is it? Wait, down. I didn't. Wait, this one? No, <laughs> there's the red button in the, on the, the screen. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> problem that I've made for myself <laughs> in terms of 
why I feel disconnected from my practice is that I have spent so much time wondering what people want from me, content-wise, product-wise, everything, and I never really considered maybe what I want for myself, what I want to create and what I want to put out, what products I want to make, and that in so many ways is I think the problem because I'm spending so much time wondering if something's going to be received well if someone wants it or if it's going to do well um, and not a lot of time wondering whether or not I really want to make it I think it becomes harder and more frustrating when your work and your money is tied into your practice because I don't really know what I am without my practice but in a way what I am without my business. I think that in itself is a paradox that I don't know how to deal with. And people always say, just make what you want to make. Make what you want to make. Do whatever. We'll support you no matter what. But the problem is, is you won't. Uh, you want to see something specific and then you don't know, but if I post something you don't like, then suddenly you stop watching. You stop buying. You stop engaging. So there's this double-edged sword of yes, I should be able to post whatever I want to post, make whatever I want to make, but I don't know if I'm going to get paid if I do that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to make ends meet if I do that. And I just want so, so desperately to free myself from this idea of what I should be doing. I can't. I don't know, maybe I just start dedicating YouTube to content I want to make what feels good. That's the right way to do it. And if I, if I, what if I just, I did a tarot reading recently and it was, what if you just gave and did things just for the love of doing it, you didn't need reception. I think that's what I wanna get to. That's where I wanna be. That's how I want to approach everything. YouTube, Instagram. What if I just created something for the love of it? And what if I just, began devoting myself to that. And it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> it's not easy to just suddenly be like, no, you know what? F making money, not even making money, just people think I'm gonna do what I want. Maybe I need to release myself from the idea that all of the things that I love and all of my hobbies are going to have to be commercialized. I also think I need to release myself from the idea that everyone's gonna like me. Everyone's gonna like what I put out. I just need to focus on what makes me and feel good, what content I wanna make. Focus on what my spirits, my ancestors are asking me to create, asking me to devote myself to. What do I wanna devote myself to? What do I want to dedicate myself to? And how is that going to translate to what I put out into the world? Comparison is the thief of happiness. I need to stop looking at things and just start creating. I'm loving and doing things and being unapologetic in what I want to make and what I want to put out in the world, what I want to be remembered for. Why does it matter if someone stops watching, if all of the right people are watching it and finding it? That's a question, right? Why does it matter? I think I'm shedding my skin like a snake.
which is fine. We should be. Just sloth off everything. I'll begin anew. I just need to find the things that I love creating again. And in order to do that, I needed to, I need to reconnect with myself wholeheartedly, my practice, what I love about it, why I do it. And sometimes in order to do that, it means I need to take a step back from everything else. I think the problem is I have an idea of what my practice should look like, right? Like I have an idea of what I should be doing or how it's supposed to look or and I'm not letting myself be creative anymore with my spells and my magic because I'm so concerned that it's not gonna look right. It's not gonna look Italian enough for people. I'm not Italian, I'm Italian American. My practice is not my ancestors, it's not my teachers, it's not my peers, it's mine. And I am allowed to practice however I want. With obviously, you know, cultural context, but maybe I've been so worried about history and the past and tradition and what my practice looks like and in result to that, that I have just stopped posting the spells that I do that are just more witchy, that are my witchcraft, because I'm not just a full practitioner, I'm also a witch. I've been a witch for a long time. And I can be a witch and a full practitioner at the same time and do things that aren't gonna fall in line exactly with the folk practice because I am not just the folk practice. I am so much more. I'm not just Italian. I'm also Austrian and Hungarian, which I don't talk about, but there's just so much more to me than this one thing. And I feel like I am trying to be this one thing. Why? Because I want people to, that's what I think people want, fuck. Why don't I just make what I want to make?